Mark from Vortec Pro. Video number 14 in our series of how we're going to build a 620 horsepower 454 oval port motor with production block, heads, crank, rods. Today we're going to show you how we install the valve guides in these heads. So we're going to get started. First we're going to knock out the intake, the intake knock-in guides. These four guides we're going to take these out of the head. We're going to drive these knocking guides out with this air hammer. They don't come out real easy. back in the back and clean out the, the guide holes we'll come back in and knock in our new guides okay we got our valve guide holes clean we're going to install the new guides this is how we do it these are the new knock-in guides very similar to the factory guide except these are concentric Lube them up with some WD-40. Then we drive them in with the air hammer. This this bulleted end goes down. Okay, we drove we drove the knocking guide in. Uh, my fabricator makes these collars that we can put over the guide so we can have it judge the distance how far it's in. And we'll turn the head over and show you what we're looking for after after we get all four of these in. So let's knock these in real quick. Well, actually, let's do this. Still needs to go a little more. Okay, that should be good on that one. That should be good on that one. And of course, this end goes down. This collar just makes it a little easier to judge. show you why that's important. Okay, when we drive this in, we want this to protrude about this far out of the casting. That's why we use the collar to judge how far the guide's into the head. When I say the collar, this is what I'm talking about. So if you get down here, Tommy, you can see that all of them are just barely through the casting which is exactly how we want them and it was fast and easy using the collar. You don't have to use the collar but it makes it easier and faster. Okay so now we have our four knocking guides installed. Here, here, and here. Now what's happened when we press those into the head that guide's going to look like this. It's going to look like an hourglass. So before we core drill it, we're going to take the reamer and knock the hourglass out of it. Okay, now we got the head up on the head machine. We've got our four new knock-in guides installed, and they're going to be hourglassed. 
So we're going to run the reamer through them before we core drill them. It'll be much more accurate when we do it that way. So keep rolling. I'm going to I'm going to ream these real quick. Okay, we got to drill with the reamer on it. 3 8 reamer. See how hard that goes through there? Watch this thing when it when it catches the hourglass. Right there. Okay, we've got these things reamed to get the hourglass shape out of them from being pressed into the head. Now we're gonna we're gonna core drill them. And this is super important that this gets done accurately as possible. Okay, after we've reamed our four new guides to get them somewhat straight, we're going to core drill them with this core, core drill. It's a carbide tipped core drill. This is very important that this hole gets straight and round without any deflection. I put a tremendous amount of pressure on this collar. I like to get it in an angle where I can really get a lot of pressure on this collar so the drill can't move. Okay, there's one. That collar moves, it's no good. Okay, after we drill this hole, we're going to cool this, cool this core drill down before we drill the exhausts. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to switch over to the collar for the exhaust, which fits the seat of the exhaust. Uh, we've cooled this 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 uh, core drill down. We don't want it growing too much when we're drilling these guides. Now we're going to drill the exhausts. Okay. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this collar up against the valve seat.
Okay, let's cool it down again. The better this hole gets drilled, the better your valve guide's going to be, and the better your valve job's going to be. Okay, this is the last one. After we drill this one, we'll take this, take this head back and clean out the guide holes, then we'll install the K-lines. out the guides after we core drill them so they're nice and clean. Now we're going to install these 1842 K line guides. How we do that is first we'll lube them up with some WD-40. Okay, and I'll get the guides lubed up. Don't get that on the lens of the camera. Okay, here's our installation tool. You got that? Okay, the guide goes on here like this, it slides down. And this break in the guide, I always install this direction. Not this direction or this direction, but this direction. That's just what I do. I like to get it started. Okay, I know I'm straight. There it is. Okay, again. We're going to turn this break in the guide this direction. We're going to get it started. You ready? Got it? Okay. I like to leave a little out at the end because we're going to trim it anyway, as you'll see. Okay. All eight of them are installed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to broach them, which locks them in place. This is the brooch. It's a 373 brooch. Put it in there like that. I run it through the guide two times.
to catch the brooch with a rag. It's a lot easier on your palm of your hand. Okay, we've got all eight guides broached. Now we're going to put the head back up in the head machine and we're going to trim everything up and cut the cut for positive seals and cut the spring pad pockets because we are working with a later model 781 head that has a high spring pad.